What is going on guys? Welcome back to another one. Today we are reacting to live at the Apollo for Chowdhury. What's this? It's comedy. And someone actually um, suggested this. Thanks for the suggestion. Um, yeah, it's been a long time, but we are back to stay, hopefully. So let's, let's react, let's react. What's happening, white people? <laughs> I can do some stuff each night. None of the old stuff I used to do, like Purple Rain. <laughs> so what I like about London, so the weather's changing. You see people walking about, especially when the weather gets good, hot or too cold, Cockneys, it is biking dive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely sweating. It's biking. Life. I'm sweating like a right slag. <laughs> <laughs> it's 12 degrees, Dave. <laughs> It's going to rain in a minute. You know what? The Indians walking about with their coats and jackets on. It's too cold to get the coat and the jacket. <laughs> it's, it's too cold, bastard. <laughs> it is biking dive. <laughs> it is biking. with the different clothes. How <laughs> many people that keep this country going are the illegal minicab drivers? I got this cab the other day, right? Starts telling me his life story. I'm in the back. <clears throat> in my country, I was a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> it's African. What? I was a doctor in my country. Nigeria. I was like, keep your eyes on the road, mate. <laughs> I won't believe a doctor after this ride. <laughs> I was a doctor. What do you need to become a doctor in your country? A driving license. <laughs> no. It's good to see a lot of Indian people have come out tonight. One go but I'm sorry, the weather in the UK is actually scary because we checked it the other day and it was well, like how do, how do these people enjoy summer? Even the highest degree in summer is like 20 something. 27. How, how do you survive? How do you... Tell them what's the weather like today. Yeah, today it's like 40 something, right? And even things are melting under the sun here. <laughs> That's the extent. Like waste beans are melting under the sun. So I don't know. It's but it's too cold still. I don't know. I mean in if the I UK. Go there, if I go there for a master, I don't know what to do. I swear. People will uh, make fun of me. Yeah. Definitely because I'm not used to that. Weather. Yeah. We're used to like, you know, the summer summer and then the cold winter. But you guys just have cold and throughout I hate the year. Rain. Yeah. I so. Hate Think about it again. <laughs> it's crazy, man. From gangster. Milton One guy over there, where are you from, gangster? Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes. Keynes. Still with your parents? No. Just think about it. Like, English people get a lot more independence. Indian people don't get the independence. English, like, when you want to move out, you're never allowed to move out of a family home. Dad, I, I want to move out. I want to get my own. You want to do what, bastard? <laughs> I want to get out and get you never leave this house bastard you don't live really. I'm dead you're dead everybody's dead <laughs> and you still don't leave bastard <laughs> English people want more independence when are you gonna move out son you're five now when are you gonna get and go a job you scrounge little slag <laughs> get out and take your kids with you <laughs> <laughs> More independence. Get a lot of racist, like loads of my mates. I've got a lot of English mates. They always want to get out for a curry with me. <laughs> Paul, let's go out for a curry, mate. Why would I want to go out for a curry? Exactly. You racist bastard. <laughs> I don't say, Dave, let's go out for a Cornish pasty, mate. <laughs> but I'm not Cornish. I'm not fresh off the banana boat, Dave. <laughs> Indian food is the only food that's referred to as a laxative. I've got to be on the shit while I'm eating this. I mean, that is actually what true, you know. This, what is it, Paul? It's a banana, Dave. <laughs> I think it's the spice. We can all break down racial barriers in this yeah, country okay. if we all put on the same accent as the person we're speaking to. 
think, you know, Indian restaurant put on a slight Indian accent, like one popper dom. <laughs> <laughs> one chicken tikka masala. <laughs> Nan bread. <laughs> don't take it too far. Like, bring it to me, bastard. Don't. <laughs> Don't do the head shaking and the hand movement, because that's racist. <laughs> if you change your cheeks, you've got to change your face to go with the voice, Varna Buttered Chicken. <laughs> I did that too much in this restaurant the other day, like, Varna Buttered Chicken. The guy goes to me, you want dick sauce with that? <laughs> what the fuck? Varna Buttered Chicken. <laughs> you want dick sauce or not dick sauce? I just dropped the accent at that point. <laughs> forget the dick sauce. What kind of restaurant is this? <laughs> I said thick sauce, not dick sauce. That was some pretty thick sauce when it came back. Oh, okay, thick sauce. <laughs> I was trying to understand. Dick sauce. Thick. <laughs> Wait, but to be honest, this is true. I, I think naturally when you go into a place full of like, I don't know, some you know, different people from a particular mm -hmm. race, automatically you feel the urge to change your accent and it just happens automatically. Like when I'm talking to my brother or something, mm -hmm. I use my thick accent. When I'm talking to like someone else, I try to, I don't know why I have to, but I just it's, try to use their accent. Yeah, it's, it's not about know. the country, race or something. Even when we went to the village, it automatically changed the, yeah, the accent. accent. It's different. I don't know. You gotta do it everywhere, you know? That's what I want racism. I want it in a restaurant. If I go to a Chinese restaurant, I don't want some guy coming, what can you get you, mate? Can you get me a Chinese waiter? <laughs> <laughs> What's Dave doing here? <laughs> I want proper racism. I want Bernard Manning. You want, you know, one right, two right. How many right you want? <laughs> to get so confused that he doesn't even know what he's ordering. You want two rye or seventeen rye? <laughs> two or seventeen. Two or seventeen. Why are twenty-nine rye? <laughs> I want it to be like Jackie Chan racing like, hmm, how many rye you want? Bro. Uh, waiter, please, no violence master. <laughs> to get so angry he texted on the guy in the kitchen because you confused him during the order you want two right or three right one minute one minute <laughs> <laughs> oh i don't know what i just ordered <laughs> I was getting jackie chan in that kitchen bro this is racist there was one restaurant i heard about in london got closed down because they were putting flour in a bin and onion barges in a basket so when health and safety turned up they said is that the bin or the bucket i've been bucket same thing <laughs> Is that the kitchen or the bathroom? Kitchen, bathroom, same thing. <laughs> Wait. The fridge, fridge, freezer, the same thing. <laughs> Is that your wife or your cousin? Wife, cousin, the same thing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> that makes sense. Times have changed now, man. Now, when I was growing up, I grew up in the 70s, but there was no money. You know you got no money when your family reused margarine tubs. <laughs> That's when you know your skin. You can't believe it's not butter. That's because it's mincemeat in that shit. <laughs> it on my toast in the morning. My family used to think water was a preservative. Like, say there was no uh, soap in the house. Dad, there's no soap in the house. He thought, put water into the soap, you get more soap out. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's not yes. you could correct, is it? Dad, there's no soap. Don't worry, put water in the soap. <laughs> Shake the soap. <laughs> you got more soap. <laughs> That's true. There's That's true. Now. I've got homeopathic soap. We used to have fish and chips once a week. There was no ketchup in there. So there's no ketchup. Don't worry. Put water in the ketchup. <laughs> Put water in the ketchup. In the ketchup. Ew, no, no. That's disgusting. You got a bottle of ketchup. <laughs> I've got red water on my chips now. <laughs> I've got soggy chips. I had so much water on my plate, the fish started swimming back again. <laughs> Family thought if you put stuff in the freezer, it lasts forever. Fresh in the freezer. 
You used to have stuff that was well past it. It's a freezer, not a time machine. Yeah. <laughs> we used to have chicken, fish, dodo. Dodo? Dodo is like, I don't know if that's what he means, but it's an African um, plantain, mm. like fried plantain. That's what we call it. I don't know that if that's what he means. But yeah, we have Dodo. That's why I, yeah, break down about it. Like, I travel on Virgin planes now, right? Problem is, when I travel aboard on Virgin planes, you can phone up your people, tell them when you're arriving at your destination. They've got phones on the planes. Oh. Problem is, most of my family speak Punjabi abroad. So when I'm telling them I'm arriving, I've got to tell them in Punjabi. I was on the plane, I was like, on my flight uh, 749, 10 minutes to which land cut up here. <laughs> the guy next to me shit himself. <laughs> Why? Oh! Oh! He phoned up his wife and told him he loved her. Oh! He was saying his he last friend. I might never see her again. Oh. I don't want to ruin the surprise. I started reading the Quran. Oh. I'm not even a Muslim. <laughs> this country hasn't quite clamped down, even the government, you know? Problems in this country. You get stabbed in this country, they won't find the killers. But if you drive down a bus lane, They'll take a picture of you in the car and send it to your house within 48 hours. I mean, that's true. If you get stabbed, make sure you get stabbed in a bus lane. <laughs> <laughs> I've read of something like that. Yeah. It's a problem, you know. Even though, like people don't even wear their seatbelts in the car. Government had this campaign going to try and help people wear a seatbelt. This guy goes to pick up a pizza. He's not wearing a seatbelt. He crashes a car. Peaches flipped up all over the place. <laughs> Pepperami everywhere. <laughs> he's dead. Second take, he picks up a pizza again, crashes a car. This time he's wearing a seatbelt. Peaches flipped up all over the place. <laughs> Pepperami everywhere. But he survives. He says, what have you learned from this video? I'm like, get your pizza delivered. Because <laughs> 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 people believe in all that now. Illuminati, people think this the government controlled by other forces. Illuminati, in it, blood. <laughs> you believe in that, man? Wait, what kind of accent is that? That's probably like a Jamaican British accent. Because I've, I've heard a lot of like um, this Jamai. sports YouTubers. Mm. Like, they do it a lot. And most of them are like, you know, Africans, Jamaicans, and stuff. And mm. that's. I don't know if it's DT. There's one guy named DT. He does that. Like that's where he's. The been. forces and all that now. Illuminati. People think it's DT. The government controlled by other forces. Illuminati, in it, blood. <laughs> you believe in that, man? <laughs> you believe in like 9/11 conspiracies? I got mates like you. My mate goes, King Kong did that. Ain't it? <laughs> where was King Kong during 9/11, blood? <laughs> he goes, blood. Yeah, don't phone me my mobile, in it. Call me my landline. <laughs> How come? CIA in it. <laughs> you live in England, you idiot. <laughs> you don't know in it. CIA, MFI, MNS. <laughs> <laughs> it was Illuminati, blood, yeah. He goes, he goes, yeah, blood, yeah. Bin Laden, yeah. He's not even dead, in it. What are you talking about? He goes, if you died, you would have got a Muslim burial. No, you wouldn't. Bin Laden didn't deserve to get thrown into the sea. We should have just chucked him into a wheelie bin. That would be with that cat last year. <laughs> and then we could have called him Osama Wheelie Bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew his bunny was actually thrown into the sea. What's the Illuminati anyway? People that glow in the dark, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, he's okay. It, he is. Yeah, yeah, he's got like he, the way he delivers his jokes is different from like other comedians we've watched. Mm -hmm. Like, I think he he he's a bit like Jimmy. What is his? No, no. He's very offensive too. Mm -hmm. And there's a way he delivers his jokes. Like he just delivers it in one line, and then the previous joke isn't connected to the next one and stuff mm -hmm. most times. So I think that's the way he does his jokes too, and it's really, really, really good. His delivery is good. But in accent, uh, Trevor Noah. Yeah, is yeah, the best. yeah. I think Trevor Noah still like 
beats everyone when it comes to accents. But he's got good um Im- yeah. impressions too. True. Uh, yeah, that was um live at a Paul Paul sh- I don't know if, I know that's the way to pronounce it, Paul Paul. Paul. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching and until see you next time. Peace out.